Hey everybody, welcome to this full body Pilates workout. I really enjoyed putting this one together. It's a good mix of classical and creative progressions with different challenge levels to try. We're starting on all fours, hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. Cat and cow warm up, inhale, belly button to spine, curling the spine up, tucking the tailbone under, dropping the head. Reverse the motion, sinking into the shoulders, looking up to the ceiling and wagging the tail. Repeat it nice and slow, inhaling up into your cat, and exhaling through into your cow. Follow your breath, working through at your own pace. Feeling the body start to loosen up. Warming up our muscles. Preparing to move. One more set. Inhale up into your cat. And release. Exhale back out to cow. Find your neutral spine. Kick one leg out. Prepare for knee tucks. Tuck it in. Kick it out. Tuck, kick, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold the kick out, tap the toe down, straight leg, tap and lift. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. To the other side. Kick the leg out. Knee tucks eight times. Tuck, kick. Tuck, kick. Three, four. Hold the rest of the upper body still. Anchoring with your hands. Active through the neck, keeping the head lifted. Tap and kick. Tap and kick. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower yourself back, hips to heels, and walk the hands forward a couple of inches. We're doing a little rock forward and a press of the knees up to a hover plank. Lower the knees down, press back hips to heels, rock forward, square it up into hover plank. It's kind of like a panther press, but a smaller version. When you rock forward and press up, make sure your spine is in a neutral, that natural flat position of the spine. So you're raising your hips up just to shoulder height. Knees are only a few inches off the floor. Continue your hover rocks forward little press and hold, lower down and back, getting a full body warm up. Finish your set right here, hold the hover plank, lower down and press back. Return to your quadruped position, walking the hands back in. Then come out to a swimmer, but just hold it on one side, opposite arm and leg, reach away from each other. Balance and hold, it's about 15 seconds. 
then we'll take it to the other side lift opposite arm and leg hold it find your control turn on the core muscles lower it down and come into the regular swimmer set opposite arm and leg reach out lower down and switch lower down reach tuck and reach tuck it's a set of 16. Keep the abs working so you can keep your center up. You don't want your lower back to sway. You want to stay in that strong neutral spine. Two more. Reach, lower down, and reach, lower down. We are finished with the quadruped warm up. Let's go down to the back by sitting at one end of your mat, inhaling to prepare, and exhaling, slow roll down, resting the hands on the sides by the hips and tucking up the knees. Single marches on each side, starting with four, three, two, one, switch sides up, four, three, with intention, two, one. Option to add in a curl with your marches. It's curl and march, three, two, one, switch sides, curl and march, four, Three, two, one. Both feet come to tabletop, 90 degrees at the knees, knees over hips, little split of the legs for one. Switch two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tuck it back in, feet to the floor. Let's repeat that set. You've got the combination starting with four marches. Up, up, and switch it. Four, three, two, one. Curl and march option four, three, two, one, switch sides, four, three, two, one, baby scissor kicks with the bent knees, tabletop, switch it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Return to tabletop, feet to the floor. One more time, same combo, new options. You can do a tuck in or a straight leg kick instead of the march. Ready? I'll do the tuck, in and out. Two, three, four, Switch sides, tuck it in, four, three, two, one. Add the curl if you want, tuck or kick. In, two, three, four, switch sides. Tuck or kick in four, three, two, one. 
once more the baby scissors with the bent knees or straighten it all the way out when you switch palms to the side to give yourself balance it's a split out a tuck in a split out and a tuck in work in those quads deep abs give it a try out and tuck scissor out and tuck two more kick tuck and kick and tuck good job we're going into a set of hundreds next but we'll do two sets of 50 inhale arms wave overhead and exhale curl up head neck and shoulders pump it out inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale exhale inhale two three four five exhale two three four five keep going exhale last set inhale and exhale roll it back down second option for the legs you can come to tabletop inhale to prepare one more set exhale curl it up and go inhale exhale inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale exhale body is still arms are strong pat the water almost there and release let's go to the next move introducing more obliques work extend one foot up to the ceiling it's going to waterfall falling across the midline of the body then continue the twist lifting the hip up rotating the spine keeping the shoulders anchored return back to center slowly lifting the leg up then do a little bicycle kick to switch sides foot extends to ceiling falls across the midline continues the rotation all the way over hip lifts up stretch it out exhale to pull through the center rotating the foot back up to the ceiling bicycle kick to switch sides rotate over return to center kick with purpose to switch every movement counts rotating over returning back to the center and switch we have a few more take your time enjoy the stretch all the way over the deep connection to control that leg back to the ceiling this is a lot of leg work those quads are working the hip flexors are working if you want to bend the knees while you're twisting to get through the last couple no problem three more twists to go if you want to complete this one and take a mini break you can also do that otherwise join me for the last set kick the foot up waterfall the leg wrap it all the way over return to center bicycle through strong leg rotate over rotate back give me one more bicycle to finish and be even extend both legs up 
can come to tabletop. Dead bugs. It's opposite arm and leg away from each other. Return to center and the other leg away. Return to center 12 times together. Reach it out, tuck in, reach out, tuck in. Three, four, five, six, halfway, steady through the body. Working through the deep layers of the abs to stabilize and to resist twisting. Last repetition out and in. Try a hollow hold. Separate the arms and legs just a few inches away from the midline. Hold it right here. Feel the deep abs working. Keep a neutral spine. Feel the heat, 10 more seconds. Draw the hands and knees back into the center. Take a deep breath. Let's do some bridges. Feet to the mat, hands by the sides, palms down. Eight bridges, press up for one, lower down, two, three, four, connect toes, balls, and heels of the feet through the arms, relax the shoulders, lower down, then press up and march one foot up, lower down, press up, march the other foot, foot connects and then lower down. Press, march, tap, lower and press, march, tap, lower, keep going. Press, march, tap, lower down, press, march, tap, lower down. Keep the hips even as you march. Take a break right here. Ready for the next level? You're gonna hold it up in your bridge and just march one foot to the other foot. Keep the glutes squeezed. Four more. Three, two, one. Foot down, lower your bridge to the floor. Tuck the feet in, roll yourself up and come into a V position with the legs for a quick seated stretch. Reach the arms out to a T and spine twist, palms down, arms long, rotate over to one side, return to the center and rotate to the other side, return to center. Sitting tall. Coordinating the motion. You're active through the legs, but not locking out the knees. The quads shouldn't be tensed up too tight. Let's try a saw motion, which is reaching down for the foot with three pul little pulses. A reach back up, rotate across to the foot for three, two, one, and up. 
Try not to jerk with the motion. It's an active contraction to pulse and just get a little deeper rotation. One more time each side, rotate and pulse. Two, three, reach up, rotate and pulse. Two, three, reach it up. Lower the hands, tuck the legs, and flip it back over like you're coming into a quadruped position. We're going to stagger one arm forward with the opposite knee forward. I've paused it here so you can see the setup. The back is flat, shoulders and hips even. It's a bear crawl. So you take the opposite arm and leg forward, other opposite arm and leg forward, and once more up to the top of the mat, then reverse back to three. Try it with me. Crawl one, two, three. Back it up, one, two, three. If you want to be even and you can, if you have space to do it four crawls, you can do four crawls front and back. I just have space for three. We're doing four sets total, walking it up, backing it up. One more time, forward, two, three, and back to three. Those are fun, aren't they? Tuck it back in and come to quadruped again. This time opening the hands a couple inches in front of the shoulders so you can fold back into a tricep fold. So just place the forearms and the elbows down and press up, two, three. Four. These are great for activating the triceps, getting you ready for push-ups if you're not fully ready for push-ups yet, but you want to build some tricep strength. This is a great place to start. Three more times, two, and one. Press it up, walk the hands back in, hips to heels and let's go to side series. Lower yourself down to one side. I'm gonna go on the elbow today. Place the hip in the back of the mat. Angle the top foot to the front corner. You can lay down flat if you want. Raise the leg up so the hip, knee, and ankle are in line. Take one kick up and one kick forward. That's your set, it's an L kick. Lift and kick forward. Two, kick, three, kick it forward. Up and forward. Use your top hand to balance you by placing it right in front of the body. Keep the foot level as you kick forward and keep the hip steady as you kick up. It's 12 of these. Pause right here, extend the bottom leg out. Take a little kick up this time. Lift and then lower. Then a double kick, little lift, and a lower. Single kick, double kick. Single kick, double kick. You can do every other if you want. It's okay to do a little bit of a rotation with the hips. You can actually get the double kick off the ground. It's just eight of these, a shorter set, because they take longer. Last one. Kick, 
and double kick. One more set on this side. Extend the arm overhead. Lift the leg up. Tuck the knee to the elbow and kick it back out. 12 times. Tuck and kick. Two. Three. Four. I find it helpful to be on the elbow for this set if you were laying all the way down. You might want to come up to the elbow and try this variation. Two more times, tuck and kick, tuck and kick. Lower down, tuck your knees in, press yourself up and come to a kneeling position. We'll do a transition set. Raise the arms forward. You're going to do an arm circle up and overhead, down and around. Reach through the center, take a small thigh stretch, a little lean back and up. Circle the arms, stretch back and up. If kneeling is uncomfortable for you, you can always roll up the mat a couple times to make a thicker pad under your knees. It feels a lot better if you're on a hard surface. Circle the arms back and through. Quick lean back, big circle around. Little lean, big circle. This one can get your quads working so much harder than you realize, so be careful with it. Finish up that set and come down to the other side, preparing for your side series. It's just the three exercises. Set yourself up on the elbow. Balance the hips, kick the top leg up, keep the ankle, knee, and hip in line, kick it up, swing it forward. L kicks 12 times. Up three, swing forward, and four. Rib cage lifted, active through the bottom of the ribs. Even if you're laying all the way down, that sideline is active. No slouching. Two more sets. Last one up and forward and pause. Bottom leg out straight. Top leg small kick to double kick. Eight times. Lift one, lift two. Lift one, lift two. Set three. And up. Four. Up. You can go slower just trying to get control of your double kick. That's your other option. One more kick and double kick. Last set, arm extends overhead. You can bend the bottom knee again for some support on the bottom. Knee to elbow, reach and lengthen. Tuck and reach, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it all together with this set. Glutes, abs, back and arms. Tuck and reach, tuck and reach. Tap it down. Tuck the knees in. We're gonna come to the back for one more set. We got about 10 minutes to go. 
roll yourself back down and revisit part of the ab series we did before. You can do the same thing that we tried last time, which is starting from that waterfall kick. We did the single leg option last time. Now you can try two legs. Arms will go wider to give you space. And it's a windshield wiper or a tick-tock. One side up and over to the other side. I recommend trying the two legs. They don't need to be straight. You can do it bent. It's great corkscrew preparation, which is a more advanced Pilates move. Builds good strength and connections. Take it to one side, exhale up through the center to the other side, inhaling over and exhaling up. It's a quicker set than last time. More work with two legs. Take it over. Exhale up. Two more times on each side. Rotate over. Exhale through the center. As you rotate over, you can lift the hip a little bit, but the control is really through the inner and outer thighs. Finish this set and then we'll go to either the dead bugs like you did before, opposite arm and leg away from each other, alternating, or you can switch to crisscross here. So the twist motion comes across the front of the body, elbow to knee, and then a switch to the other side. Let's do a purposeful set of 12. That means slow it down. Inhale to prepare, exhale across and cross. Cross and hold, cross, take a picture. Each one counts. Six more, lift and hold, stay lifted through the center, four, three, two, and one. Return to center and remember your hollow hold. Let's try it. Feet to tabletop, arms to the ceiling. Separate knees and hands, start to feel the work. Go for the bonus challenge, straighten the legs out and hold it here. 20 seconds, you can make it. It suddenly feels 10 degrees hotter in the room and everybody's shaking, little earthquakes. Keep holding it, wrap the arms around, tuck the knees in, take a deep breath. I know what you're thinking. Are bridges next? Yes, they are. One more set of bridges. We always need more bridges. Press it up, set of eight. Lift and lower. It's the same set we did before. You know exactly what's coming. We just need a little more glute work because those glutes are so strong. Lift and lower. Pause right here, lift it up, one march, tap down, lower, press, march, lower it down. Building progressively, getting stronger, getting ready to do more single leg bridges in the future. This gets us there. 
It's just eight of each. Quick series. Take one breath, exhale up, last set, eight marches, hold that bridge, march. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Press it back up, then lower with control. Tuck the knees in, roll yourself up. Final series, come all the way to the tummy. Reach the hands overhead, thumbs up, and swan prep. Activate through the back line, slide yourself up off the mat, and lower down. The hands stay connected, you engage through the shoulders first, really pull those shoulder blades down the back, then release forward. So it's a depression, pulling the shoulders away from the ears and then an elevation, releasing them to let yourself back down to the mat. If you're on carpet, it is harder to slide, so you can just put the hands by the shoulders and do little presses up and down as your alternative. Two more times. Lift all the way up, lower with control. One more. Slide up and slide down. Fold the hands under the forehead Lift one leg up, hamstring curl in, two pulses, a kick out, lower down, switch sides. Pulse, pulse, reach, and tap. Lift, little kicks in, other side. This one's called a single leg kick, technically, in Pilates terminology, but I think a hamstring curl describes it better. Lift, double kick in, reach, and lower down. Lift, double kick in, reach, lower down. One more set. And lift, kick, kick, reach, lower down. Final exercise, extend and lift, arms and legs, flutter kick. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wrap the arms back, lower yourself down. Take a deep breath. How about a stretch? Place the hands to the sides, lift the chest off the mat, stretch the abs and the front of the hips. How are you feeling? We had a really good full workout today. Arms, shoulders, back, abs, glutes, and legs. Then you can push back to child's pose for one final stretch. Take a moment to thank yourself for being here today. I will be back with another workout for you tomorrow.